All right, guys, so today we got the vlogging camera. Then you go take a shower, get some stuff done, and then, uh, yeah, we're having a cheat day today at the rodeo, so. Ooh. So I'm running on four hours of sleep. So you know what that means. I'm gonna run to this food town. It's across the street. I'm trying to get as much exercise in as I can. So I'm gonna walk there. I'm a little further away, parked wise. Time to head out. It's like two, two o'clock. Yeah, two o'clock. Um, yeah, that's what I got now. About to go pick up Hannah. <laughs> First time wearing boots and they feel really weird. Um, <laughs> they feel like they're gonna fall off. Guys, I feel like Woody from Toy Story with these boots on. This tile ain't big enough for the both of us. Spidey up in here! That's All right, so we got fried brisket balls. I'll probably do a voiceover because it's a lot new. And then brisket potatoes. <laughs> So the potatoes pretty good. Those um brisket bites are pretty good too. Alright guys, so we got a fried Reese's and a fried cookie dough. And uh I can't even continue. It's a Reese's. But yeah, we're gonna find somewhere to eat these. Oh, well, there's like a whole bunch over there, but I doubt we'll find any open ones. Yeah. Just eat it here. Just eat it here? Okay. Just sit on the. Butter? That might be good. Alright, so we got butter balls. <laughs> See how these taste. It's so weird. It's and good? Really it's good? It's like cake. Cake? It's fried cheesecake. <laughs> Butter. It's about a good 4 out of 10. See? Oh. <laughs> that one wasn't good. <laughs> it's all over my face. What is going on guys? So, as you guys seen the other day in the vlog, it was a little too packed at the rodeo. Like there was no spot for the camera. Um, and it was hard to film. Plus it was spring break so it was extra packed. So that's why there wasn't that much clips from the other video. I'm sorry guys about that. Um, but today is St. Patrick's Day. Today is also the Donald Trump cheat day. But yeah, we're today is St. Patrick's Day, so we're gonna make a stop at Double D's and uh, see if they got some donuts. All right, guys, time to see if Dunkin' Donut has the donuts. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, do you guys have any of the St. Patrick's Day donuts? I have the thin mint brownie and my vanilla cream and dive cream today. Okay, can I get two of the uh, vanilla cream okay. and then one of the mint brownie? Do you want to get half a dozen? Ah, uh, no, nah, that's good. Okay, yes, sir. Anything else? That'll be it. We'll see you at the window. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Alright, my friends. Welcome to the Donald Pump Cheat Day. Just kidding. Donald Trump Cheat Day. For some of you that do not know, but the Donald Trump cheat day is. I'm gonna have a link to the article that has everything he eats. I had to, I found this, I stumbled upon it, I think on Buzzfeed. And uh, you know what? I thought I'd do it, but a little more intense. I got my cheat day shirt on here, look like Superman, um, ready to go, ready to eat. And uh, yeah, Donald Trump cheat day. So yeah, we got, we're gonna do this a lot more intense too. I think Donald Trump eats a lot, like as far as bad quality food before. Um, but I'm gonna eat a lot worse, so, yeah. Alright 
All right, guys. So we're in with meal number one. I have no idea how many calories are in this one. I have not tracked it yet. So I had a problem when I went to McDonald's. Um, they did not have sausage uh, egg McMuffins, so I had to go sausage McGriddles. Not the biggest fan of sausage McGriddles, but I still kept it kind of oriented. Donald Trump would usually do a Diet Coke with like literally everything, and then he did an egg McMuffin. I think that was his breakfast when he did breakfast. Um, so, but I'm gonna kind of take four of those and do a lot more. So, about to start this challenge. I've been fasting since 6 p.m. yesterday. Um, <laughs> but we got also, because it's St. Patrick's Day, guys, we got some donuts and uh, banana for health, some Pop Tarts if I still want them afterwards. But, guys, welcome to the Donald Trump Challenge cheat day. Yeah. This isn't like no politics, it's just about food. Just enjoy, please. No politics. Let's all have a good day. And let's eat! <laughs> and uh, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. Oh, we already started. Let's get it popping, guys. Start with the sausage McGriddles. I don't like the, the sweet and salty combination, but. Alright, add some ketchup to it. Alright guys, and welcome to the first meal of the Donald Trump cheat day. We had a wonderful breakfast, a little bit of St. Patrick's Day stuff thrown in there, but hopefully you guys enjoyed And this challenge involves so much Diet Coke, I will not be drinking Diet Coke for a long time. McGriddle number two. Believe it or not, I really don't like McGriddles. I don't like like the texture and just, I, I don't know, I'm weird, but I did not want these McGriddles, but the McDonald's and Walmart only had those. Donald Trump loved his ketchup, so, so do I. That's where we uh, come together on that one. Like I said, I wanted to modify this challenge, so it was a lot more food, so I would really have to start with one Egg McMuffin, but I did a lot more. One more McGriddle. Thankfully, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big fan. Of McGriddles, but they're like, no McMuffins. I'm like, man, we got McGriddles. Now, as you know, we have Easter coming up, so that's going to be a big, big challenge for you guys. I'm excited. I'm going to be answering a lot more of your questions throughout other videos. I try to get to a lot of them, but it's hard to eat and answer the questions while I'm doing it. it. Took me about four minutes to finish those. Fence toast with syrup. We go. We go. We we we. French toast. For this being some no-name brand French toast, it was good. I really liked it. Um, you know, I haven't had French toast in a while. Like the actual French toast sticks. I mean, I know I have, for the Michael Phelps, I had French toast, but the French toast sticks were really good. I think they were off-brand, but they taste just as good as regular brand. Wow, well, that's French toast. All right, guys, so I know the timer's kind of hard to see, but we're at 7.22, getting into the doonits. So, yeah, I'm excited for these. St. Patty's Day, baby. Let's start with the first ever one. I'm gonna have to get up. I'm gonna have to snap it, you know, St. Patrick's Day. So again, like I said, follow me on Snap, if I can turn it. So review the first one. Oh, man. Green filling. Oh! Now, for all you Irish people, I hope you enjoyed my St. Patrick's Day little bit of throw in there. I had to. I had to get. I didn't have these donuts last week, so I had to make up this week, and I. Uh, they were good. Donut number two. Now we do have some collaboration uh, in the making going in April, so I know you guys have thrown out there. I appreciate you guys letting me know who you want to see me collab with. So I'm working on some stuff for you guys coming up, though. Try this mint one next. Mint brownie. Oh, snap. Mm. The mint's a little weird. I'm not much of a mint fan, but it's not bad. It's kind of crazy too, thinking of like the idea of collabing with someone. Like most of these people, I grew up like not grew up. I'm not like a baby, but <laughs> you know, when I started my YouTube career, I kind of grew up watching these guys, and I really would love to do collaboration with some of these. 
Banana for health. I don't know why I grabbed the chocolate milk. I didn't even use it. Twelve minutes and fifty-three seconds. Putting stuff on my face. Uh, for meal number one, it wasn't bad. I'm gonna probably save these for meal number two. Is it good in meal number one? If I had to guess, I think it's roughly about four thousand, maybe a little more calories. So. Like a captain. All right guys, welcome to the next part of the Donald Trump cheat day. So, we are gonna be having, this was not what he was eating, but two straw, or two packets of the strawberry Pop-Tarts milkshake, Oreos, because that was actually his favorite, one of his favorite snacks, and another Diet Coke. <laughs> so, more Diet Coke, woo me. I did the minis. How much caffeine is in the minis? 28 megagrams. Or mega whatever. So we're going to start off with the Pop-Tarts, guys. And then we'll get into uh, Mr. Donald Trump's favorite um, snack, pop or Oreos. I'm going to be probably pouring in. So like I said, we're going to start off with the Pop-Tarts, guys. Got those right there. Four of them. Mmm. No timer necessary. Now, like I said, Donald Trump does not eat Pop-Tarts, at least from the list, but uh, I had to throw these in there. I've had these for a little while, and I wanted to eat some more of the Pop-Tarts. 623. I just had a little break just to get some work done. Again, last time I said I was going to do a Q&A. So, you guys provided me with lots of questions. And I'm going to respond back. Once this gets loading, uh, roughly because I did have work, I let myself do this challenge till about 10 or 11, so I would give it about a 10 hour um, cheat day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So Q&A question. After all this cheat days, your stomach got larger. If so, when your normal days of eating, do you get less satisfied, you know, because the fact that you have more capacity to eat? I'm sorry, I'm making this bad. Love from Thank you, Sophia, for your question. Um, it's kind of like a mind over matter thing because I used to wrestle. I used to know what it was like to be like hungry and make weight. So a lot of the times I know what it's like to go from a high calorie day where I'm eating a huge amount where my stomach's expanding and then I have to cut back on other days. So I'm actually, some days I do get pretty hungry and I want to eat more, but for the most part I'm, I am able to control myself because I don't want to get, you know, gain a lot of weight. Um, I may want to gain a little bit just because of muscle, but for the most part, I'm trying to control how many calories I'm consuming so I don't blow up like a balloon. So it's, it is, it looks tough some days, but not all the time. Okay, Ronnie Young asks, does your family ever come home and find you passed out from a sugar crash? Um, no. Not for the most part, unless it's a really big challenge and then I get sleepy. Um, Gregory White asks, where are your maintenance calories and do you drop them during the week? Yeah, just like Sophia's question, I do drop my calories just 2,000 to 2,500, depending on how I'm feeling for the day. Um, and an IHOP or Chick-fil-A menu challenge. I like it. So I'm going to go back to eating these. I'm going to answer more of these throughout the day. Thank you guys for ordering anchor bracelets. You guys' orders have been going through. If you want one, click right there or... No. Links in the, the bio, the description. So, eat some more Pop-Tarts. I'm actually at my lightest weight right now, too. I was 182 today. One more Pop-Tart. Now, don't think I'm not taking your full days of, or full menu challenges into account. I am making a list and I am checking it twice. about the Oreos. I just think it says limited edition by this thing at Team USA is it's just normal Oreos. I don't see nothing much different about these bad boys. Oh, look at that. 
didn't put too much milk, but <clears throat> I know I'm gonna get highly criticized for this, but I am not an Oreo fan. Like I'm not huge on Oreos. Um, I'll eat like one or two, but they are so hard to eat in abundance. Like I don't know, it's my biggest weakness. It's my kryptonite. Just hoggy this thing shit. That fast. Maybe because they're not meant to be eaten all at once, or they are, and I just am made not to be able to eat a lot of Oreos, but I was able to put down the whole pack with some milk, and uh, it was alright. Can I eat a lot of these, man? I don't know what it is. Oh, the infamous milk. Time to drink it. The reason why I look on the side is make sure the mic's on. Because it'd sound like, probably not like that, but. Oh, that was dripping. Hear that bug? All right, guys. So we got one more meal left for today. One more Donald Trump cheat day meal. So let's go get it. The order's in for one of them. McDonald's. Hi. Can I get two of the Grand Big Macs, but no onion? Just a sandwich. Anything else? Do you guys have shamrock shakes? No, so we don't. No. Uh, can I get a large chocolate shake? Yes, sir. I think That'll be it. So, guys, I got the Grand Mac. I haven't had that. I've seen the Big Mac, so I was like, just up it. It was like a little more money, but it's kind of worth it. First time. So excited for this meal. It's about to put me up above 13,000 calories. I was doing the calculations in the car. That's crazy. All right guys, so time to go into the Domino's that they know me at. I got a really big pizza, like five toppings worth. All right guys, last meal of the day. My headband is looking weird. So like I said, we got five toppings on the pizza. Ham, bacon, sauce. Wait, is this on? I don't know. Um, pepperoni, I forget what I got, and olives. Then we got two grand Big Macs, this is my first time having those. Chocolate shake. So we're gonna get started on this, guys. We're gonna get to work. Where's the timer? I know it's somewhere. Oh, here it is. We're gonna watch the basketball game while we do it. But let's get started, guys. Start off with the pizza. Must be cold. This is a good deal. And you guys wouldn't believe what we're drinking, but two more Diet Cokes. Last meal of the day. I'm trying to push this video really hard for like 13,000 calories, guys. It was uh, a lot of food. I've never done a pizza with at least five toppings on it in a video. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. Ooh, chunk shakes thick. By this time, I was pretty sick of McDonald's, um, and just overall, I, I had been eating like McDonald's, sweets, all that, um, which made this challenge a little tougher. I usually don't get as full as I was by the end, um, but yeah, even 10,000 calories is pretty easy for me to do, but this one made me full. Yes, this is hard to admit that I was full by the end, but I was, guys. I was starting to feel it. Um, the pizza was pretty easy, but once I got done, I was like, man, it is really hard to get into these Big Macs and then the shake too, but I was able to finish the shake as well, guys. <coughs> How many Big Mac lovers do I have in the comments post if you like Big Macs? I really do. Personally, I think I, I, they're delicious, but... Nice. We used to do like uh, we'd watch hockey games, and I would always get a Big Mac from McDonald's. Yeah, I was I was I was pretty chubby in middle school, by the way. 
sort of sweat. What time is it, by the way? 10.54. Oh, two more. All right, guys, so we're down to the last two slices. But more or less, when uh, when I was chubbier in middle school, it was just a, from account of constantly eating like that. I don't do that today, as you guys can see from these challenges. But I did clean the box, uh, as you guys can see. The box is totally clean. I ate the whole pizza. <clears throat> the pizza is done. We're about to head into the Grand Big Macs, which has some size to them. <laughs> Took me about 13 minutes to finish that. Oh wow! Yeah, these are these are bigger. They're definitely bigger. Could be too hard to eat though. the bun's bigger now first into the big grand mac um the buns just filled a little bit bigger it was bigger i could tell um there we go but that's going to conclude the video guys i ate one big grand mac finished the shake and the pizza and had one left over but make sure to like share and subscribe if you're new to the channel hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next cheat day <laughs>